Hello everyone, this is Leaf on the Wind here, and I'm now bringing you Hospital Tycoon. Why am I bringing you Hospital Tycoon? Well, I don't have any other games I'm ready to play. I'm out of games to play. Um, and this is one I picked up on Steam sale for five bucks, like, last year. So, <laughs> I played through the whole thing in like four hours. It's only 12 missions, so we might as well go ahead and do this. So, let's pop right in. I've created a brand new one, um, brand new, uh, whatever, uh, for this. So. 12 levels, we'll go through each one, and life will be fantastic. Each series is a different hospital, so it's pretty straightforward in that sense. Yes, welcome to the Samfire Beach Hospital. Yay! Now, I do kind of like playing this game because the diseases that are in there, like people come in as werewolves and zombies, and you gotta cure them. It's like, that's awesome. What, what would you actually do in an emergency, <laughs> emergency room situation if somebody came in and they were a freaking werewolf? It's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. I got bit, and that was like a week ago, and now there's a full moon. <laughs> it's like... Really? As far as I'm concerned, this is a neat little just kill time kind of game. Um, there's no real challenge to it whatsoever. And it, uh, <laughs> also you get to play with your little peons as much as you want. Cool effect, somebody's apparently taking a nap. Yeah, so long as I do my job. Ha! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Yeah, nobody actually talks either. I love uh -huh. it. This is definitely like the Sims mentality. What? <laughs> Misspelling. <laughs> uh, I'm a little, I'm a little too I'm gonna that. So, we're gonna build a reception desk. Yes! Lisa? Vending machine's broken. Build at least two vending machines. That's our objective. All right. Actually, let's, uh... Oh god, I gotta put down the trash cans. Wait, no, not that one. Where was it? Furniture, there we go. Um, yeah. Fine, I'll do the shift key. There we go. Our little level one tutorial here. Look at that guy's jawline, jeez. Did his his arm just went through her head? That's like that's something to be concerned about. Oh, dude, this guy's totally banging one of the nurses. Doctor Steele. Yeah, too professional. He's married to his jobs. Ha. <laughs> He's banging all the nurses, I guarantee it. I, I really don't care. I don't care if they get examined. Uh, yeah, I'm already complete on all that, so we're happy. Hi, what's your problem? Throbbing headache. 
not very happy. Yep, throbbing headache. What would you actually do if a patient came in and it's like, I have a throbbing headache. Oh, take some Tylenol. No, like my head's actually throbbing. Like I have a serious medical condition. All right, let's speed this up a little bit so they can get to work. Hang on, he, he needs to bang the nurse first. The doctor has to bang the nurse. Are you dead? Well, he's not dead. Oh, good God! Lisa, eat ban in your No, no, eat ban. All right. So, what do I need here? Yep. So, these are the cards you go to uh, in the treatment area. It'll tell you exactly what needs to be done in order to do this. So. Where's my equipment? Equipment. Oh no, I don't have any of that. Okay, hang on. There it is. Is this the pharmacy? I think that's the pharmacy. Hey, <laughs> so? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, let's watch the patient get treated. Let's see this pharmacy tech. Let's see what she does. Oh, he has a throbbing headache and he decides to stop and get something from the vending machine. Good for him. Yeah, how about we get in here? Get treated. Oh, good God! How's that man still alive? They jabbed a giant needle in his eye and pumped it full of air. Or something. Good God. The heck? I love it. Their sneezing is actually causing a haze of biological material. This this is a problem. <clears throat> now you'll notice that each doctor has a nurse associated with them. You need a lot of nurses because they basically are the ones that get the patients to the places they need to be. You'll also notice that the uh, nurse led the patient into the pharmacy. They don't go there on their own, the way it looks. So, I always try to at least pair... Oh no! The guy's an idiot! I love it. The cutback made it so we don't have a research facility. Something that's kind of vital. Alright. Actually. And now we need a research thing. Which is freaking huge. It is now a research lab. Yay! Hire a research scientist. Very well. Yes, I'm already in the staff section. Oh, I think I have to do this in order. There we go. 
Yes, ah! we're gonna fire people. Liso, Na, Alvisa, Amarcida. So basically, you're gonna want to find someone who's reliable and not mean, and that's this because you get somebody who's lazy and mean, like this idiot. Uh, he can f right off. <laughs> They're not gonna do jack. So this person right here. Na, Yay, we have a research Amarcida. scientist. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. This should. The nurse should be bringing them. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing, nurse? I, I think the patients are confused. Oh, okay. She was bringing the grandmother. Okay. I was like, why are these two not moving? No, let's get you into the Stargate here. Or whatever in God's name this thing is. It looks like something from NASA. No, you'll see that repair status there. You're gonna need someone to fix things around here. Explosive sneezing. You're actually sneezing so much it explodes. I love it. <laughs> I've been here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh god, okay, so what do I have to do? Cure all remaining patients. Alright. So, we're gonna go ahead. Seriously, what in God's name are... Jeez, okay. Let's see here. What are these people doing? What are you doing? Okay, so it's all explosive sneezing. I wasn't even paying attention, actually. Okay, this is not gonna work unless I get rid of some stuff. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye. Nobody wants you. Oops, that's right. And then, give me another pharmacy tech. Who is lazy. Great. That's the only one I have available. Alright, well, whatever. Get in there. So I got a lazy mofo being my pharmacy tech now. Great. Man, they're really... I don't know how they're actually doing any of this. Oh, I wonder if anyone actually dies of explosive sneezing. That would be awesome. Seeing that... I'm demonstrating this right now. You can double up these rooms a lot to be able to do a lot of this stuff. So maximum efficiency is not always having one person per room. In fact, normally I actually like double and triple up the doctors. So the exam rooms are just loaded with people. Like I'll have a single exam room, just like the biggest room I can build, filled with like five or six doctors. And they'll just bring people in and examine them, do everything they need to do. <laughs> How are you doing? Ah, you're pretty lazy. Your skill's not exactly up there. That's fine. Not a big deal. Oh, that's my receptionist. I don't have another desk for her, so whatever. Misspelling is right there. And where's that doctor who's banging all the nurses? Right here. Yep, Dr. Steele, he's totally gonna... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, they're making out. How about you guys get to work? Well, you guys really hit... This is like Sims level, like, messed up. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Not getting involved in anything. Yeah, he's banging all the nurses. That's 100% at this point. Where's my last patient? Where are they? Oh, wow! Should be one more somewhere. 
Oh, there it goes. Okay, so maybe I count on the light. <laughs> I love the fact that is hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna watch him fight. That woman has a really, really small waist. Yay! So that's that's the beginning of level one. Shows you just how stupid and ridiculous this entire game is. But we are definitely going to play all of it. So I will see you again for part two.